Good morning. Welcome. Does, does everybody have one of these little cards that were on the table over here? It asks for your name and your pet's name. And the reason why we ask for that is during the blessing, we have an individual blessing for each of the animals. The person who does the blessing will insert your name and your pet's name into the blessing. So that's how we were able to do that as an individual blessing, um, doing that by name. So if you haven't picked up one of the cards, they're on the little uh, card table here um, and fill that out. Our uh, service today will be fairly brief, but at the same time, we want it to be meaningful. And so we have it in basically four parts. The first part, we'll have a song and some readings, and then we'll have the individual blessing. After the blessing, we'll kind of regather, and we'll have just two other prayers. And then we'll also have some treats for everyone. And I mean everyone. We have dog and cat treats too, so that they can partake of, of a little refreshment too. So we uh, hope that uh, this is a nice event for you today. At this point in time, all the uh, individual uh, pet guardians and the pets themselves are coming forward to receive a blessing. And a lot of people wonder why do we bless pets and why do we do this service at this point in time in the year. And it really is a commemoration of the life of St. Francis of Assisi. His feast day is coming up on Tuesday, uh, October 4th, and remembering that Francis of Assisi loved all of creation, and especially animals. He would talk to them, he would preach with them, he would bless them. And so in remembering the life of St. Francis, this is why we do it at this point in time. This is our 21st year of doing this. The Episcopal Church of Our Savior here in Little Falls initiated the uh, program, and the Franciscan Sisters of Little Falls joined with them shortly after they started it to jointly have the service together. And so for 21 years we've been doing this, and unfortunately, the Church of Our Savior closed its doors about a year and a half ago. And so we uh, joined together with Pastor Jake uh, Deerhog from First Lutheran Church and several of his members to be part of the service. So that way, um, we're doing this as a joint effort in reaching out to all the uh, animal lovers in the Little Falls area to bring their pets, to have them blessed, uh, in commemoration of St. Francis of Assisi. Now we think of blessings of animals as maybe something a little bit unique, but if you think of it, both the Lutheran Church and the Catholic Church have a tradition of blessing meals, um, blessing the food before we partake of meals. We bless our children. Um, and so it's really a prayer to God, asking them to bless the pet, to bless the individual, and to bless the relationship that they have with their pet. And so that's part, a three-part blessing that's being used at this point in time. And that each person has a little card with the name of their pet as well as their own name. And the uh, blessing includes both names and is also blessing the relationship that they have uh, with their pet. And so that's what's happening at this point in time. And of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord our God, in all your creatures. Amen. Thank you. And I have a little gift here for Penny. It is interesting that when we first had people gathering this morning that many of the dogs were barking and kind of trying to get to see all the other dogs and things like that. But once the service started, they all kind of calmed down and kind of reminds us of some of the stories of Francis, that when Francis would see some of the uh, different animals, that they would become very docile uh, and loving uh, towards Francis. And it's a kind of a, a recognition that uh, the animals are part of our, cre our creation that God gave us. Francis used to call animals uh, brothers and sisters. You kind of recognize that God created all of us, both human and also our, the, the animals. 
And so recognizing that we have God as our Father, he then realized that if God is our Father of us as humans and we have God as the Father of the uh, animals and really of all that is created, and that's why Francis has had uh, come to talk to and about uh, all the things of creation as brother and sister. There's a song that Francis of Assisi composed a couple of years before he died called the Canticle of the Creatures, sometimes called Canticle of Brother Son. And in it, he praises God and asks all of creation to praise God too. And he recognizes Brother Son, Sister Moon, um, and all of the other things of creation. Simple, chaste, and innocent sister doves. Why did you let yourselves be caught? I want to rescue you.